the art, one of the arguments, the central arguments behind doing this with China was, we think capitalism will change them. Okay? They're going to eat Big Macs and drink Coca-Cola, and they're going to literally ingest democracy, and it will transform them. Okay? They argued that capitalism was going to change China. Now we stand here 23 years later and realize capitalism didn't change China. China changed capitalism. China did get rich. They most certainly got rich, but they didn't use that money to buy our products. They used that money to buy the products that are made in China. And they didn't become a democracy either. Now what you have is what was once a poor Chinese Communist Party. Now you have a rich Chinese Communist Party that has tightened its grip on the country and that's actually started going around the world trying to export their authoritarian model. They literally go around telling countries, democracy cannot solve problems. Our system is so much better at solving problems. We can move quicker. We don't have to have a town hall meeting before we do everything. We can have strategic 20-year plans, and we can solve your problems. China's a populous country. They're always going to be a superpower. They were always going to be one. But they did it faster because they did it at our expense. They didn't create these jobs. They moved them. They didn't create these industries. They took them. We buy solar panels from China. Who invented solar panels? We did. They lead the world now in battery productions for these electric vehicles. We invented it. They make them. They perfect it. They now lead the technology. I can go on and on. They're building more coal-fired plants than any country on Earth. Today, China has more surplus refining capacity for oil than any nation on the planet. This era has to end now. It's not about just taking on China. It is about changing the way we think. It's not 2000 anymore. It's not 1999 anymore. This is a different world. 